Its name is a little bit misleading because the Farm Bill covers much more than just farming. In fact, it covers a lot of policy ground. Here at the Center for Strategic and International Studies, the Global Food Security Project wanted to look at the Farm Bill in a new way, look at components of it that we don't think get enough attention, such as investing in agriculture research and development. This is important for a couple of reasons, particularly timing. The U.S. Farm Bill is up for reauthorization next year. Well, agricultural research in the United States is dramatically underfunded at the moment. Um, at the end of World War II, 40% uh, of all the research that the U.S. government did was agricultural research. As recently as 1970, uh, about 8% of um, non-military R&D uh, went to agricultural research, and that number is now down to lower than 4%. That public support for agriculture research has eroded in recent years, and as a result, uh, the U.S. leadership is being lost to other countries that have significantly raised their investments in agriculture research, like China, like Brazil, uh, which have significantly uh, increased their commitments to agriculture research. Now, in the past five or more years, China has eclipsed us in the amount of funding that they've put towards agriculture. I've, I have long felt that the most important aspect of public policy in agriculture in the United States and around the world is public investments in agricultural research because that's ultimately the basis for our competitiveness. Uh, it's also increased productivity over time. It's a little bit concerning because we're seeing productivity increasing in some areas, but overall, our Global Agricultural Productivity Index, or GAP Index, is showing that we're not going to really meet the needs of 2050 through productivity. It's going to take increased agriculture research investments just to sustain present productivity levels, not to mention uh, the, the need for higher productivity in the future. What we have learned over the years through research, through um, collaborating with productivity experts at USDA and FAO, is that investing in research and development, and particularly public research and development, is probably the key way that you're going to boost your overall productivity in agriculture. In fact, it's really hard to get productivity in agriculture without research and development. So all the new exciting areas of science, whether it be robotics, our new imaging technologies, how we use big data, or even our new genetic uh, uh, biotechnologies that are coming at the forefront, are applicable to agriculture almost immediately. And we're taking those technologies and really addressing some major issues. So. It's um, really been a wonderful public good that the United States System of Agricultural Research and Development has established, not only for the United States, but actually for many countries around the world. I mean, I always like to say that, that scientists have nationalities, but science doesn't have nationalities. And our issues in agriculture are global. You know, in my view, uh, food is too important to the human race to have it be an afterthought. So we have to continue to be strong, be a leader in science, fund science, and we have to make a decision as the American people that we're going to devote our resources to uh, advances in, scientific, in science and for agriculture. The domestic research that we do here in the United States can have a huge impact on our global food supply and on global food insecurity.